good to hear Raymond G, the, the vet here. Uh, Smart bid runs out of trap one, new call Telecom Puppy Derby plate and uh, the Morton boys doing the presentation that was Andrew there with uh, with Robert of course the previous presentation 11 away chance is smart bid he's owned by the stables tavern syndicate who are I met uh, on arrival today they're they're pretty confident in their chances they read the racing post price wise selection Phil Donaldson open check Nat Jonathan K they said Hobbs are you gonna nap smart bid I said no because I part own trap three Pantone Ava runs out of trap two for David Mullins and uh, Mr McNally and eight one chance in the ring Panto neighbor of course uh, like all these greyhounds in semi-finals of the Enlo Puppy Derby William McNally the owner of Panto neighbor got some nice lines of form at Nottingham and at Romford finished behind Ben Cap Blue in the semi-finals on Thursday it was a big price then uh, an eight to one chance here with a pace of smart bid inside and Guinness Kev in trap three and a small hair on the back side is uh, my uh, piece of Guinness Kev uh, trained by Seamus Cahill on his toes and, uh, led up by Teresa Dave and the dreamers our Sky Sports Greyhound producer Dave Lawrence his brother Clive Lawrence if you're watching Clive get well soon Guinness Kev in trap three can crash the boxes 3.65 sectional a trial which I think shows his early pace went out in the semi-finals when Ben Camp Blue only beaten a length and a quarter I think it's a battle to the bend between the three and the one Daryl Williams has got a share as well, so hopefully he'll collect the trophy if we win. Trap four, King Bradley runs out of the black jacket for Liz and Rab McNair and the KSS Seneca, Brendan Keogh and Simon Sinek. King Bradley related to a good few winners, only April 2010, went out behind Millwood's boom who cut loose, uh, came from off the pace in the end. But of course, uh, uh, Liz and Rab looking forward to the semi-finals elaborate golden jacket express trend, the red hot favourite now after a fantastic run in the heats. Hey kiddo, runs out of trap five for Seamus. Gorn, a 20 to 1 chance, led up by his uh, trainer, a Henlo Greyhound, uh, April 2010. He's Hey Kiddo. Now, his future isn't going to be over 460 metres. He's going to be staying, no question about that. He'll be uh, behind them early, but he'll be running on very, very strongly. Any sort of problems up front, he could take advantage of that. But uh, you watch this ground over six bends, and we fancy he's going to win plenty of races. Hey Kiddo's his name in five. And Millwood's Alpha runs out of trap six for, for Paul Young and. Uh, of course, had the finalists in uh, with Millwood's boom uh, a few minutes ago. Millwood's Alpha running for trap six, looking for compensation. 29.02 trial, and more, more clearly has the the Labrick Puppy Derby in mind. Millwood's Alpha for connections finished behind Ben Cap Blue in the semi-finals. Prior to that, was behind Ben uh, Kulavani uh, Bird, a six to one chance in stripes. Shame as you train Guinness Kevin this race, I have to be careful what I say because this one's owned by my boss, but needs to perhaps get slightly more consistent at the traps. Yeah, he was a bit disappointed the last night, really, but he was drawn six. I think he probably has a good draw tonight. Uh, the one dog seems to be well drawn as well, and that, and uh, uh, I think whichever leader probably win. Good luck, Seamus. Thanks, Julie. Greyhounds are going in the traps. Smart bids a five to four chance down here. Backers at eleven to eight. Nine to four bar. They've taken that about Guinness Kev as well. The three box. Uh, six to one bar. The two takes in the six. Uh, Millwood's Alpha out from five, thirteen to two back into six to one. Seven to one four King Bradley. A uh, ten to one two for Tony Ava and twenty to one to five dog. Hey kiddo. Three dog by some way. I thought one had a chance, me. I fancy the three. I'm going to have a pint of Guinness and cheer this home. Are we okay? Come on, Kev. Guinness Kev. Loading up, Gary. Well. Smart bid is your nap, Dave, and uh, I've got to say, no wins from four, but tonight could be the night. He's uh, got a really good chance here. Those two, really, Smart bid or Guinness Kev. Let's find out now with our commentator for the Derby Plate, Harold Blythe. Yeah, he ran well, of course, in the semi-finals of the Primus Telecom Puppy Derby, but unfortunately, he missed out, couldn't quite make the final. And he's got a strong chance here, obviously, in trap one. Five to four favourite. Two to one about Guinness Kev. Late to support behind Guinness Kev as they... Here comes round for the new call. Telecom Puffy Derby plate, £500 to the winner. Favourite in one then, smart bid, five to four. Guinness Kev in trap three, two to one. And it's six to one bar. Here spins round. 
460 meters. And there they go, running towards the first. But good start, Guinness Kemp takes his up well. Six is on the outside. Millwood's out for him on the inside, making up some ground. They are smart bid. But Guinness Kev really kicks on here. Guinness Kev with a two length lead of a one. Smart bid racing in second. Then we've got a break back to four. King Bradley as they come round the third bend. And it's three. Guinness Kev still out in front as he swings off that final turn he's still got a two-length lead here coming towards the line for king bradley staying on late but guinness kev wins four in second place king bradley and a photo for third well, a great run from guinness kev he finished in behind smart bid last time but he's turned the tables got a good start and perhaps what seamus was saying was correct he uh, was better suited to the white jacket than the stripes that he had unfortunately in the semi-finals broke well edged out right a little bit leaving the boxes but had the best early toe to lead at the first bend did Guinness Kev and then as we watch them go down the far side he got a good two length lead on the others and it was up to King Bradley for Liz McNair to come and chase hard and grab second. It's a double on the night for Seamus Carhill after taking the first race. But a good run from Guinness Kev. Winning a good uh, race here from King Bradley in second place, and it's uh, close for third, as we mentioned, a photo third. One on this near side, smart bit on the far side, was six. Millwood's Alpha. And then came Pantone Ava. Uh, spotlight camera was on Guinness Kev. Oh, it was the producer who uh, chose the spotlight, and he does have a leg in this. So it's no surprise that we're seeing Guinness Kev in all his glory tonight. Sprang out of the boxes, showed early pace. He did move a couple of steps to the right when he left the boxes, but then straightened up, and he was just too speedy for them all here at Henlow over this trip of 460 metres. Guinness Kev then, doubling up for Seamus Carhill. Well, he's had a good look at this track, came third in December, and then uh, he came uh, third and fourth in the Henlow Puppy Derby. He's got it right tonight, he's run brilliantly tonight. He knows this track now, changes his style slightly, and he wins at two to one. Well done, Dave and the Dreamers and Seamus Carhill. Next, Aero Majestic in trap one for the 9-10, the mini stayers race over 550.